In an armed robbery, if you keep thinking, you might find an opportunity to protect yourself. Welcome to today's Active Self-Protection Lesson. I'm your host, John Correa. Today's video comes to us from the city of Eindhoven in the Netherlands. Big Tech's Outdoors has holsters, accessories, optics, and other parts that you need as a self-defender. I'm one of his customers and I recommend him highly. Check out the page on our website with our favorite deals. So this guy on the left is a dealer in gold and jewelry and the guy that's walked in with a hat on has said, hey, I wanna look at some of that. So he takes him back in the back into his office and dude decides instead to pull a gun. Well, he chambers it, guy doesn't even notice him at first, finally turns around and is like, hey man, I have a gun and I want uh, you know all the gold jewelry that you have and here's a bag to throw it into. Now what you're gonna see is our victim is going to comply. He is gonna say, okay man, whatever, takes the guy's bag, goes back to you know his little safe where he's got stuff. Now watch what's gonna go down here. You're gonna see him kinda for just a minute, it did jump cut there, that's them who did that, not me, and you're gonna see the guy start putting stuff away and as soon as he can, he busts the door closed on the guy. Now watch, they're gonna have a fight over this door where this guy is going to hold it in and the perp is gonna to try to break in there and thank God he didn't decide to shoot through that door. We'll talk about that in a little bit. Um, you can see right here that this is the gold that was in the bag. So several uh, gold rings and all that stuff that you know uh, he's trying to get away with. So he did grab what he could, run off with that stuff. Thankfully, our intended victim was not hurt and that is where this one ends. I'm really glad he kept his wits about him. If you appreciate the content you get here at Active Self Protection, do me a favor, make sure you hit the subscribe button, turn on the notification bell so that you don't miss a lesson. Sometimes YouTube does and does not like recommending us to the people who are subscribed. So if you wanna make sure you get them, hit the notification bell and turn on the all, and you should get all of the videos every single morning. Let's think about lessons out of this one. A lot of interesting lessons out of this one. First and foremost, you see the guy wearing a hat and all that stuff, takes him in the back. Okay, fine, I don't see a whole lot of pre-attack cues here, but you notice when the time comes, he draws that firearm. And again, we always talk about, Eyes, hands, waist. You look at the eyes as the windows to the soul, the hands as the windows to the intent, the waist as where all the bad things come from. Bad guys don't pull guns out of ankle holsters, just doesn't happen. So dude pulls a gun, now what are you gonna do? Now of course, guy doesn't see the gun right now because he's closing the door and not paying attention to him. But certainly with unknown clients, you wanna keep an eye on them as much as humanly possible. Didn't in this case, my guess is that's because of his clientele or whatever. So now dude charges the gun and I see that all the time as a marker of of seriousness. Hey man, give me your stuff. Now a couple things as a defender here I want you to notice. Notice that our bad guy has transferred that gun to his left hand. Now of course in the Netherlands he's not going to be armed. It's very difficult and impossible for a private citizen to carry a firearm there. But here in the United States, here in somewhere where you could carry a concealed firearm, you see a bad guy transfers that gun to the left hand. That is definitely an opportunity for you to get your gun out and in the fight because his firearm is not in an immediately deliverable position there, almost certainly. Just something for us to be aware of. Now, purposeful compliance here, I think, is a very big lesson. That our jeweler is just like, okay, man, whatever you want, I'll give it to you, that's fine, whatever. But notice that he's looking for his opportunity. You notice here that in his purposeful compliance, he's not just kind of sitting around and doing nothing, but he's actively getting the guy his stuff, so then that way he doesn't have to, you know, uh, okay, man, I'm, I'm gonna listen to you, don't worry about it, whatever. But also, he's paying attention and waiting his turn. One of the keys to surviving an armed robbery is waiting your turn, and if you're willing to wait your turn, then you can take your turn. But if you don't wait your turn, you go at the wrong time, then you're at a real disadvantage. Now, as soon as he does see his opportunity here, he takes it. You notice he sees it and then goes for it. One of the things we talk about in surviving an armed robbery is that if you wait for your turn, you have to be mentally ready to take your turn. And when that opportunity comes, you have got to use it. If you do not take your opportunity, you may not get additional ones. So the first quality opportunity that you see to make yourself safer, take that opportunity. Bust the door in, you know, gets that door closed, but let's notice that they are gonna be fighting over this door. Now, thankfully, most bad guys, like most people, will not shoot people they cannot see. And they will not shoot through doors or anything like that. Some of that is because there's this mental thing where the barrier may as well be bulletproof. But some of that as well is a lot of bad guys are not willing to use their firearms. They are simply using them as an intimidation tool. They don't have any intent of actually shooting anybody. So given those things happening, that was okay for this guy. But recognize that this bad guy was a bad dude. He could have shot him through the door multiple times and then come in and gotten all the stuff he wanted. Thankfully, they 
they didn't do that in this case, and our victim was able to protect himself. So let's learn our lessons here about looking for our opportunity, about waiting our turn, taking our turn, understand that a lot of times a bad guy won't shoot through cover or concealment, and making sure that we know that the risks are there, though, as we seek to cover our ASP.